I was over here in this little clearing under a tree where I've been before, where I spoke with the fairies before. Sitting on the same stump I sat on before. And I heard that same man say, he just found out now that when his children were 10 years old, he killed them with the hatchet. And I said, well, why would you do that? And he said, they didn't work that hard anyway. I said, but they could have gone away then and worked, uh, worked out on their own. And he said, that's just what I did. So I said, they couldn't have all been 10 years of age at the same time. They must have been 10 years of age one by one. And so did you wait till they were 10? And I didn't hear him say anything about that. He just went away. I don't know. Well, I hung out with this for a minute or two because, to tell the truth, I was a little upset about it. I heard his wife say, no, he did not kill all the children like that. Um, only one met his death like that, so that cheered me up a little bit. So that would be four children still alive. I just talked to the, the woman a little bit more. Um, might be a different woman. She said, we both came from the same family. Our father did not do that kind of thing. But there were a crop failure, and that's why that happened. Okay, she says... Uh, he got really upset about the crop failure, she says. He got really upset about it, took a hatchet to the fifth one, and that was that. Well, I hope this is the last of that. I heard the lady's voice say, The sheriff said he went out of his mind. That cellophane thought was on his mind. We went round and round on that one. I heard the son who passed on say right now in a young person voice, I were going through pu puberty, that were all that were going on. My mom tried to tell me to, t to tone it down.